Bundle up and make sure to cover up all of that exposed skin. And winter is coming. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In this installment, we're counting down the coolest facts we could find about freezing to death, or getting chillingly close to it. Any freeze. Number 5. Victims of hypothermia often undress. Yeah, tequila makes her clothes fall off. A survey of information covering nearly 20 years of data revealed that approximately 25% of those who died from hypothermia were found in varying states of undress. Funny thing is, the fellow was just wearing underpants. Not so. Sure. The German researchers reported that victims generally started undressing below the waist and worked their way up. In cases of outdoor deaths, it was possible to follow the eerie trail of clothing to find the unfortunate souls. The researchers explained this so-called paradoxical undressing as a result of nerve damage from extreme cold. As hypothermia reaches its final stages, victims feel irrationally hot and try to cool down. Even more mysteriously, many of those who died exhibited what's called terminal burrowing behavior, meaning they crawled into a small space to die. Just want to crawl into a hole and die. <laughs> Number four, freezing to death can be reversed. In 2001, Canadian toddler Erica Nordby was found outside in nothing but a diaper. Her heart had been stopped for two hours and her body temperature was a chilly 61 degrees Fahrenheit or 16 degrees Celsius. Despite being clinically dead, she was revived and suffered no long-term health consequences. Now, scientists believe they have a better understanding of how something like this is possible. The answer is anoxia-induced reversible suspended animation. In other words, oxygen starvation. Biologist Mark Roth describes it as, quote, turning down the dimmer switch on biological processes to improve survivability. Practical applications utilizing this new information would help those suffering without immediate access to medical care or to preserve organs for transplant. Number three, a Japanese man survived a three-week hibernation. Maybe he melted. No. He's just hibernating. Sure, that baby surviving that two-hour freeze is incredible, but there are even more unbelievable near-death freeze stories. In late 2006, Mitsutaka Ushikoshi, a 35-year-old Japanese man, fell while hiking and was unable to get up. Get up! I can't get up! He was unconscious for 24 days and only remembers a feeling of warmth and comfort before falling asleep. Despite having almost no pulse, multiple organ failure, and blood loss, he was able to make a full recovery with 100% of his brain function. Hey, Slam, you know this cat? Slam? No use. Like baby Erica, it seems that Uchikoshi's body entered a hibernation-like state that brought his metabolism to a standstill, which allowed him to survive even without food and water. Number two. Surgeons freeze cancer to death. So maybe the cold isn't all bad. Research in the field of cryosurgery, also known as cryoablation or cryotherapy, has yielded some promising results. By freezing malignant tumors using liquid nitrogen, the cancerous cells responded much better to methods of treatment that were ineffective on their own. After applying the freezing agent, the tumors can be treated with drugs. The protective cell membrane of cancer cells is normally very challenging to penetrate, but the process of freezing the tumor makes it much easier for the drug to do its job. The latest research is combining cryoablation with nanoparticle delivery systems for the drugs, which should increase the drug's efficacy even more. It works! I finally invent something that works! Number one, Arctic frogs survive the deep freeze with sugar. Arctic wood frogs don't just hibernate through winter, they freeze through it. Up to 60% of their bodies freeze solid, but in the spring, bafflingly, they thaw out and go on their hoppy way. Recent research from the University of Alaska Fairbanks is finally starting to piece together how this can be. Researchers now think the amphibians prepare for winter by performing smaller cycles of freezing and thawing before the big sleep. That raises the level of glucose in their blood up to 10 times their normal level. Normally, freezing would draw all of the liquid out of a cell, causing it to die but having a lot of glucose in there helps cells guard against desiccation. Oh, thanks for the sugar. Sugar. This keeps all of the most important organs and body functions safe while the frogs endure the longest, coldest winters of any amphibian. With any luck, this research into sugars and freezing will revolutionize the popsicle industry. Just kidding. So what do you think? Have you ever had hypothermia? Did it make you undress? And do you think we'll see a perfected method for cryogenic hypersleep in our lifetimes? 
for more warm and cuddly top 10s and cold-hearted top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Ah!